Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Ngayon, tuturoan ko kayo kung paano mag-simplify ng expression with fractional exponent. Yan pong nakikita nyo dyan sa screen, yan po yung mga example ng expression na nakaraise by a fraction na exponent, fractional exponent. So, paano ba isi-simplify yung ganyan? So, there are steps that we need to follow. So, meron tayong na 8 raised to 2 thirds. Sa ito, masimple natin, unang i is into an exponential form. Sino ba yung base dito? Dito po, yung h siya yung base sa given. And then, yung 2 thirds natin, ang tinatawag natin na exponent. So, sabi, i-rewrite ko yung base into an exponential form. Ano ba yung exponential form? Ibig sabihin, number na naka-raise sa exponent. Okay? Na naka-raise siya sa exponent, pero pag sinimplify natin, ito din 18 ang kakalabasan. Okay? So, ano ba ang exponential form ng 8? Isip tayo ng number na mas mababa sa kanya, nakapag-raise mo sa exponent. mag mag ng result na 8. So, Ang number natin, hindi pwede 1 kasi 1 raised to any number, any any number na exponent, 1 lang lagi. So, hindi pwede 1. So, ito ang gawin natin. Diba ang 2, kapag nirase natin sa 3, magiging 8. 2 times 2 times 2. So, nirase, na write na natin si 8 into exponential form, ilalagay ko lang yung 2 thirds. Okay? Next doon, i-apply daw yung power law. Pag, sina, pag sa power law, ibig sabihin nun, exponent raised to another exponent, ang ginagawa natin, minumultiply natin. Okay? By multiplying the exponent of the base to the fraction outside. So, imumultiply ko lang yung 3 um, times 2 thirds. Kaya kung magmumultiply ng whole number at fraction, um, at lang yan. Or kung makikita, pwede tayo mag-apply ng cancellation, yung 3 dito, tsaka yung 3 sa baba. So, magiging 2 squared na siya. Okay? And lastly, last part, or last step, is to simplify if the ball na simplify and evaluate the expression. So, ito na yung expression natin, 2 squared. And evaluate natin yan, 2 times 2. And our answer is 4. Ganun lang po. So, let's try to answer another example. Give natin is 49 raised to 3 over 2. Papakita ko sa inyo yung mga table. Those are, ano, some, some, ha, but not all, numbers that can be written into exponential form. Ayan, yung mga yan. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng tip. Kapag magsisimplify tayo ng fractional exponent at magre rewrite tayo ng base sa exponential form, check nyo na lang yung denominator ng fraction 2. So, ibig sabihin, dapat, ibig magsisimplify. So, gawin mo, dapat, 2 yung exponent ng magiging base kapag re rewrite mo sa exponential form. Now, si 49, nasa table naman natin yan, ito siya. Pwede natin siyang maging 7 squared and then raised to 3 over 2. So, sinabi, binigyan ko kayo ng tip na dapat nakraise sa 2 para cancel agad. So, magiging 7 cube na siya or 7 raised to 3. And then, evaluate 7 times 7 times 7, that's 343. Yan. Ganyan na po ang pag-evaluate or pag-simplify ng exponential um, expression or fractional exponents. Next. Is 4 over 16 raised to 1 half. Here is the table. So, pag fraction siya, tas fraction din ng exponent, pwede mo naman yan pag-iwalayin. Pwede natin siyang i-rewrite as 4 raised to 1 half, 16 raised to 1 half. And simplify natin siya parehas. Ibig sabi, i-rewrite natin yung 4 and 16 sa um, exponential form, di ba sabi ko, 2 yung exponent. So, hanap tayo dito ng 2. So, yung 2 squared, ito o, oh, siya sa 4. So, 2 squared raised to 1 half. And then, yung 16 naman, ito po. Isa 16, dalawa. Pwede 2 raised to 4. Pwede 4 squared. Di ba sabi ko, kung ano yung denominator, doon mo, erase yung exponent. So, gamitin natin yung 4 squared. Yan. Raised to one half para cancel yung 2, cancel, cancel din yung 2. So, mangyayari, magiging 2 raised to 1 na lang to and then 4 raised to 1. 
So, this is 240 kasi any number raised to 1, uh, yun na yung number, ayun yung sagot. Simplify 2 fourths, they are both divisible by 2, so that's 1 half. This is the final answer. Next. This is 27 raised to 2 thirds. Ayan. So, sabi ko, yung denominator natin, P, so dapat nakaraise at P. So, 27 ay, eto, 3 cubed. Raise to 2 thirds. And then cancel yung 3. So magiging 3 squared. And that's 3 times 3. 9. This is the final answer. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Next. This is 8 to 1 raised to 3 fourths. So ang denominator natin ay 4. So ibig sabihin, hanap ka ng number na mababa pag ni-raise mo sa 4. 81. So si 81 ay 3 raised to 4. Ito o. Oh. So, magiging 3 raised to 4, raised to 3 fourths. So, cancel yung 4. So, magiging 3 raised to 3. And that's 3 times 3 times 3. And final answer is 27. So, that's all in rewriting um, for expressions with fractional exponent. Thank you for watching. God bless.